Hello and welcome to this video illustration where we will be showing you a new technique to reanimate the foot as well as treat foot drop deformity that follows a common perineal nerve injury. I am Mohamed Azat and I will be speaking to you on behalf of my colleagues and professors in Peripheral Nerve Surgery Unit Soska University in Egypt. The idea behind this technique is that we are going to transfer two tibial nerve branches to the deep perineal nerve trunk. Namely, we are going to use the nerve branch to the lateral head of gastrocnemius and the nerve branch to the flexor digitorum longus. For this we, are, we, will, we will be using a proper microsurgery set and uh, a couple of personal magnification loops for proper surgical dissection as well as intraoperative electrical nerve stimulation to confirm the donor nerves. It's important before we start to emphasize that we should not be administrating any muscle relaxant drugs during the anesthesia as these will block the motor end plates and affect the use of electric nerve stimulation throughout the procedure. That said, patient throughout the procedure will be put in a prone position with well padding of the bony prominences and a laziest incision will be utilized and that will be uh, that would be enough to visualize and dissect the popliteal fossa and allow proper identification of the common perineal nerve, which is seen on the right side of this image, as well as the tibial nerve and its branches, which are seen on the top left of this image. It is very crucial to understand and know the topography of the tibial nerve as this is one of the bases of identifying the donor nerves. We know that the lateral head of gastrocnemius is one of the few lateral branches and it's usually the first lateral branch after the sural communicating nerve and we can see that we have properly identified it on this or primarily identified it in this image as well as the flexor digitorum longus is usually posterior or postromedial on the tibial nerve. So now we have properly or primarily identified the branches uh, to complete our identification we need the, the aid of the electric nerve stimulator in this video we can see that we are probing the nerve branch to the lateral head of gastrocnemius and we can see the uh, muscle contraction it's important to use low amplitude volt or low uh, voltage because we don't need the spread of the sig of the electric stimulus to the surrounding nerves. And now we will be now we will be stimulating the nerve branch to the flexor digitorum longus. We can see that we have put the foot and ankle in a free position, and the low voltage stimulus have resulted in flickers and contraction of the flexor storum longus and flexion of the toes. Once the donor nerves are identified, proximal dissection is done and distal dissection as well of the recipient nerve is done to provide enough length. This would allow tension-free repair. The repair is usually done under the vision of a surgical microscope using a 10O non-absorbable suture. And as we can see, we have we were successful in uh, having a tension-free uh, coaptation. Finally, after closure of the skin incision, patient will be put in an above knee cast for six weeks. Following that, uh, Physiotherapy and transcutaneous electric nerve stimulation will be started until the first signs of active uh, ankle extension are recorded. Thank you for your attention and hope you enjoyed this video. Goodbye.